So, look, I wanted to pop on today because some stuff was going through my mind. I thought I could just come on and, and give you guys a little um, idea of how important setting aside even just a minute of your day for uh, your spiritual growth and your spiritual practice. Um, and I mean that in the way of like, um, you know, we don't sometimes realize how long a minute is, you know. Um, 60 seconds doesn't seem like a lot in the scheme of things, but um, I, I think if you, if, if you try to do one thing consistently for 60 seconds, you'll understand that it is kind of long. I know time is relative, and if um, you know, you're happy, time moves fast, and if you're upset, time uh, or sad, time goes actually slower. That's the whole point of time is relative, you know? So you have a good time, it goes like that. The sadder you are, the slower it gets, right? But here now, just to prove how important even just a minute of your day is, I want you to try this challenge. I want you to sit still, back straight. It's just the stuff that I always say you don't have to do, but give it a shot. Give it a shot for just 60 seconds. Sit still, back straight. You can be sitting at a chair with your feet on the ground, or you can be sitting on the floor cross-legged on the couch or on your bed. And just close your eyes and don't say anything for 60 seconds. And Maybe you can mentally take note of all the thoughts that are going to come into your head, you know, as you try to quiet yourself down. I want you to just to follow your breath, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, imagining a balloon inside of your stomach. And when you're inhaling, you're deflating the balloon. And when you're exhaling, you're inflating the balloon. Okay? And by doing that, you know, you can do all kinds of chakra meditation. And let's just see if we can concentrate on our breath for a 60 whole seconds. I want you to breathe in through your nose. And as you're breathing in, you're going to be drawing in your diaphragm, your stomach, sucking it in as you're breathing in, in your chest. You know, keep your shoulders still. Breathe in, suck in that diaphragm. Exhale through the mouth, and bring your stomach out. As it's exhaling. And it doesn't have to be so dramatic, you can be very calm. And you can just breathe in and out, breathe in and out. And as you're breathing in and out, what I like to do is I'll chant, I have Krishna, I have Krishna, 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 I have Krishna. And whatever you try to do with your single point focus, actually it's split between your breath and whatever you're thinking of, notice all the other thoughts that are coming in the out of your head. And every time a thought comes into your head, push it out, and go back to the breath comes another thought, push it out, go back to the breath. And by doing this practice every day, maybe just 60 seconds, maybe while you have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and it's sitting on the table, and while that tea is, you know, steaming away, it's too hot to drink, just close your eyes. When the kids are all chattering, that daddy, daddy, my, mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, he hit me, he said, close your eyes, 60 seconds. If you're at work and you're in a cubicle and it's, everything's driving you crazy, Boss is breathing down your neck. Go to the bathroom, to the break room. Close your eyes for 60 seconds. Breathe, man, breathe. Close your eyes and breathe. It'll give you a nice grounding. If, if the pressures are building up on you too much, just breathe. So try the 60 second meditation. Tell me what, uh, what do you think, if it works or not. And, um, you know, and we'll keep on keeping on, man. You know, 60 seconds with your eyes closed and breathing can do a lot for you. If you repeat this during the day, whenever you feel like you're starting to get out of control, um, let me know if it works. Just whatever you do, don't do it while you're driving. <laughs> if you're in traffic, just keep your eyes open and breathe. <laughs> okay? Thank you guys so much, man. We'll talk again. Hare Krishna.